So let's look at this problem on number of gas molecules incident on an area. Consider nitrogen gas at a room temperature. So we have a nitrogen gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. So let me note that we have nitrogen and nitrogen um, atomic number is 14. So uh, the molecular weight is 28 grams per mole. And using the numerical values given in the text, find the average number of nitrogen molecules striking a 1 cm square area of the container walls per second. So we're asking number per area per second. Well, that is, by definition, molecular flux. So it's asking uh, what the molecular flux for nitrogen gas is under these conditions. So let's refer to the text uh, for the numerical values that were used. At room temperature and atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure is... Um, one atmosphere which is SI unit 1.01 .01, 10 to 5 pascals so it should be converted to pascals the mass of nitrogen gas contained within a vessel having a volume of 1 liter there is a volume of uh, 1 liter which is 10 to 3 uh, centimeter Cube. Uh, if you wish to convert this to SI units, uh, you can see that um, one meter cube is 1000 liters. So that would be 10 to 6 centimeter cube. Okay. Um, it's experimentally found to be about 1.15 grams. Since the atomic weight of a nitrogen atom is about 14, molecular weight is 28, we have two nitrogen atoms per molecule. It follows that 28 grams of nitrogen gas contains Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to 23 of nitrogen molecules. The total number of molecules in the experimental vessel would be then Avogadro's number uh, multiplied by the mass of the nitrogen gas divided by the molecular weight mu which is 2.47 10 to 22 molecules so that the number density capital N divided by V is 2.5 10 to 19 molecules per centimeter cube or 2.5 10 to 25 molecules per meter cube it then follows that the average kinetic energy of a nitrogen molecule is uh, 3 over 2 p bar over n. We have shown using uh, elementary kinetic theory that p bar was equal to 2 thirds number density mean value of the kinetic energy per molecule. So this, this is basically uh, the kinetic energy per molecule mean value is 3 over 2 p bar over n. Now using SI units, 10 to 5 pascals divided by 2.5 10 to 25 molecules per meter cube, we obtain 6 times 10 to minus 19 joules. Since nitrogen molecules, where Avogadro's number is Na, have a mass of 28, 28 grams, the mass of a single nitrogen molecule would be uh, 28 divided by Avogadro's number, 4.65 10 to minus 23 grams or 10 to minus 26 kilograms. Then we can calculate, since the uh, mean kinetic energy of a molecule would be given by 1 over 2 m uh, mass of one molecule v square average, we can calculate uh, v square average as uh, 2 epsilon uh, k bar divided by m and uh, you can see that here there is another approximation so we're approximating v square 
average to be equal to v average square. So this is the assumption in this theory. And so we obtain um, for uh, v bar 5.1 10 to 4 centimeters per second or 5.1 10 to 2 meters per second under these conditions. Now, what is the molecular flux? And the molecules can move in three dimensions uh, and therefore on average by uh, neglecting uh, the velocity distribution we can say that uh, one third of the molecules would be uh, would have a y component of their uh, velocity uh, one third moving on the x-axis one third moving on the uh, y-axis and uh, z-axis and then if you have uh, because you have three independent degrees of freedom and if you consider the ones moving in the positive uh, y direction so let me show that with uh, a different color here so these are moving in the positive y direction so for positive y i have one over six and for a negative y i would have minus one uh, plus sorry for a negative y direction i would still have one sixth of the molecules moving in the minus y direction so that uh, on average i would have a uh, one third of the molecules moving on the y axis okay so that's basically um, the average behavior so let's uh, note these observations here um, so first of all from the uh, text values I have obtained for n the number density 2.5 times 10 to 19 molecules per centimeter cube and I have obtained for V bar the mean a speed of a molecule uh, 5.1 times 10 to 24 centimeter per second so this is at equilibrium at room temperature so at uh, equilibrium the temperature is uh, roughly 300 Kelvin room temperature uh, we will have the molecules move randomly since the molecules move randomly on average we have one third of the molecules Uh, moving on the x-axis and one-sixth of the molecules on in the positive x direction since the average should be zero we can say that one-third move on the x one third move on y one third move on the z axis and half of those on each axis will move in positive or, or negative direction so that they will average out to zero so that is basically the the meaning of uh, random so they're moving randomly so therefore we have uh, with this argument one sixth of the molecules moving in the positive x direction uh, therefore we will have a number of molecules per area per second in the uh, striking a certain area so in a positive x direction let's say for instance we would have basically this is what we call molecular uh, flux we have shown that 
uh, this molecular flux J is given by 1 over 6 and V bar. So 1 over 6 comes from the fact that they should be moving randomly and 1 sixth are moving uh, in the positive x direction. So we would have 1 over 6 number density 2.5 10 to 19 molecules per centimeter cube times the average speed 5.1 times 10 to 4. So we would find that the molecular flux is 2.1 times 10 to 23 molecules per centimeter square per second. So that's basically what we were asked to calculate. The number of molecules hitting an area of 1 centimeter uh, square per second that is the molecular flux. Okay, so let's see what we did. We considered nitrogen gas at room temperature, 300 Kelvin, atmospheric pressure, 1 atmosphere, 1 10 to 5 pascals. And using the numerical values given in the text. So I look at the text. The text is talking about uh, a nitrogen gas which has 1.15 grams in, inside a 1 liter container and uh, there we can calculate the number density is 2.5 times 10 to 19 molecules per centimeter cube and using the elementary kinetic theory mean pressure is two-thirds an ek bar i can calculate uh, first of all the mass of one uh, nitrogen atom as 4.65 10 to minus 29 kilograms and using the mean kinetic energy and the approximation that v square average is v average square um, we can calculate a value for the mean uh, speed of a molecule to be 5.1 10 to 4 centimeters per second then assuming that we have a random motion of molecules at a thermal equilibrium at 300 kelvin one sixth of the molecules would be moving in positive y uh, direction one sixth in negative y the same is true for uh, the x-axis and also the z-axis so for the x-axis i also have a uh, one sixth of the molecules moving in positive x direction and one sixth in negative x direction and similarly for the z-axis i have a uh, one sixth of the molecules in positive z and one sixth of the molecules moving in negative z direction so that they would average out to zero so that's the random motion of molecules now taking these values from the text number density and v bar and using our uh, result for molecular flux which is 1 over 6 mv bar substituting these values we can calculate the molecular flux which is the number of molecules striking a one centimeter square area per second to be 2.1 times 10 to 23.